Victor, for, for many months now, I've thought about what I would say to you at this very moment. There have been times when I've had to stop reading and writing about you so I could wipe away the tears. My words on this day will not be able to convey the gratitude I have for you and for your sacrifices for our country. You grew up in, in Idaho and Los Angeles as the second oldest son in a family of eight children, four boys, four girls. When Pearl Harbor was bombed on December the 2nd, 7th, 1941, you went to the nearest enlistment office the next day and joined the Army along with thousands of other Americans. You had made a promise to your mother to keep your younger brother safe. To preserve your promise, you went to your company chaplain and then to your commanding officer to ask to join Johnny overseas as a sergeant, but you were refused. It was not until you requested to take a reduction in rank from sergeant to private that your commander honored your request. The death of Johnny came as a great shock to you and your family because you had been with him just a few pr days prior to his death. I can only imagine the loneliness, the feelings of loss and responsibility you must have felt after learning he passed away. Through Ted's memoirs, we now know that the deal you made with your chaplain and commander to be reduced in rank in order to go into battle with Johnny had a second part. You requested that your commander never send Ted into battle, and your commander honored your request. Your brother Ted later left the army and became a teacher. He married a wonderful wife and had several children and now grandchildren. So Victor, I'm here to tell you today that it worked. Your plan worked better than you could possibly imagine. The people gathered with me here today will remember your story and share your legacy with the world. We are humbled by your life. On behalf of a grateful country, thank you for your service and thank you for your sacrifice.